Hey everybody, I thought I'd shoot a quick video on uh, cabbage worms and what they can do to your plants. And they can do it pretty quickly. This is uh, a broccoli leaf and those uh, little boogers will get on here and eat holes in there. So uh, in order for you to know that you have worms on your plants, you'll see something like this usually. See the damage here? And if you don't do something about it, and do something quickly they can really destroy your crop pretty fast so I'm going to show you just where to look for those worms and uh, I'll give you some options of stuff that you could try um, so let's go look at one of these little so this is the result of caterpillar damage initially what you'll see is a white moth or yellow moth flying around what they'll do is land on your leaves really fast and lay little eggs. The next thing you'll see is this. If you don't look really carefully for little caterpillars that look like that. So that thing right there will destroy that leaf in a matter of a day, maybe less than that. So you have to get rid of these somehow. And that's a pretty effective way of doing it if you have the time to come out every day and pick worms off of your plants. So where should we look for these? Well, the underside of the leaf. So you can see this one has some damage. Flip it over. And there he is. Sorry about the zoom. So, he's gone. Now these things will be really small too. Um, see if I can find some. So you need to look at the underside of the leaf. I don't see any on this one. None on that one. Here we go. Here's an example of one that is really small. See that next to my thumb? That is the beginning. See those little dudes? So that's how small they are. Usually when you can see them moving around. They often build little webs. So you could totally miss them if you're going about uh, your day trying to pick these things off. So I'm going to give you a couple of things that you could try. I'll show you what I have and what I use to try to combat these things. But they will destroy your plants if you don't take care of them. And these have been, they've gone too far let them go too far. There's a little one right there. I don't think that one's alive. But anyway, let me show you some okay, stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of different things that you can use to try to prevent the worm damage. I'm just going to show you some stuff that I've used before and something I'm thinking about using. Um, this is fungicide. This is from Garden Safe and I'm not promoting any particular brand name here so um, but this is a fungicide, it's an insecticide, and it's also a miticide. And uh, if you look at the components here, it is uh, neem oil um, with some other stuff. This is uh, garden safe, so it's um, supposed to be, yeah, it's organic certified. So uh, I have not found this to be extremely effective for me. Um, they just keep coming back. You have to stay on top of it um, constantly. So you could give this a try if you don't if you just have a few plants. Um, it's pretty easy to mix up. Just put it in a little hand sprayer and spray it. I do use this on my squash plants uh, and that seems to help with uh, some of the bugs but um, you can give that a try. Uh, this is something that I think I'm going to use or try to use this time. 
and it's uh, BT. It's a worm caterpillar. It's from Garden Safe too. I haven't used it yet. Uh, I believe you mix it up just about the same way that you do the neem oil. So uh, I might have to give me a little separate hand sprayer. So I think I'm going to try that. This is organic also. This is the stuff that, where the caterpillars eat it and they die. So um, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, what I have used in the past is this stuff, which is not organic, but extremely effective. Um, it prevents them from coming back. Uh, last fall, I only sprayed my veggies one time and the whole season and never had a problem again with, uh, with worms. So this is something that's not organic. It's made by Bayer. Um, you hook it up to your garden hose, spray your stuff. It doesn't stink. It actually smells pretty good. Um, but it does work. So uh, it's rainproof in an hour. You just spray it on there and it takes care of the problem. So, uh, and it lasts, I mean, I've got a pretty decent sized garden. And this has lasted me for over a year. Or at least an, a year now. So, yeah. So I still have plenty to go. So anyway, that's just some options. Thought I would just do this little video, give you an idea of stuff to use. You've got your organic stuff over here and your real deal stuff over here. Uh, I do think that this is um, highly effective. I want to see about this. I would rather go more organic stuff, uh, especially later on when your plants get larger and you're getting closer to, uh, you know, harvesting stuff like uh, broccoli and cabbages. I think that you know, go with organic stuff if you can, um, just to be safe. But um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.